The extra zero was added in a newspaper report earlier this week. Katie stresses the new fines for driving without a license are only $1,500. The changes took effect when the president proclaimed the Finance Act No. 2 of 2015 on Wednesday. The amendments affect the Motor Vehicles and Road Traffic Act, but the big changes are the amendments to the fines of driving under the influence. They now moved from a first offense from $8,000 to $12,000. A second offense moves from $12,000 to $22,500. Transport Minister Stephen Cady's told TV6 News that it's time for the country to truly get serious about the way we deal with drinking and driving. He says there must be a deterrent. I think that sometimes maybe our fines are just not enough. That maybe jail terms have to be included also, mandatory jail terms. And of course, suspension, revocation of your license. I mean, you, these are, this is a serious issue on this drunk driving business. The move has also been hailed by advocacy group Arrive Alive. Speeding has also an increased fine, moving from $4,000 to $6,000. However, the transport minister says this is hard to enforce. He says tendering has gone on to have the new radar gun technology out on the streets. I hope again that, um, that that is going to bring further sanity to our road system and how we manage our roads. Because again, the, the loss of life as a result of speeding, um, really and truly, it's, it's just totally unacceptable. Katie says he admits some will feel the fines are too much, but he also says others will feel that the fines are not enough. Kijan Haynes, TV6 News.